Hello, my YouTube friends, family. How are you? I've been hauling, y'all. I've been hauling. But this is a Dollar Tree haul that I did after I did a Michael's haul. And I was planning to do some Tuesday morning and all of that. Um, Hobby Lobby was closed today. It's Sunday. And so they were closed. So I wasn't going to do them. But I went down there by them. And in my car, so used to going down that way and driving to Hobby Lobby, that it tried to take me to Hobby Lobby. And I had to make it. I mean, seriously, I was headed there. And I said, oh, Lord, I forgot I wasn't going to Hobby Lobby today. It's closed. I was going to get my daughter some sweet frog. So I had to make the car go to the right instead of to the left. It went right to that turn. I said, no, you got, you got to go this way. I had to tell it. My car used to know where I go. <laughs> so anyway, I found some great things at this um, Dollar Tree that I went to. Is this a mix? I'm trying to think because I went to two I went to two Dollar Trees today. And when I went there, I went to one and then I was in line and bought some stuff and I had to get back out of line because I forgot why I went in there, which was for this. That's a, that's a great place to start. I went in there because I was watching the Vagabond Craft. Now, if y'all hear the, 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 the laundry going on in the background, that's because my daughter just put her laundry in and I can't stop her and tell her not to do it because of this video. Because she's supposed to have been supposed to have done it a few days ago. It's Sunday. She's supposed to have done it about like Wednesday, Thursday. But these here are glass ink pens, and what that is is they are the old style writing pens, dip pens. And I love that kind of stuff. Now I've gotten some, and I've paid more money, more than a dollar. But these come with the glass. Uh, it has a little cover for protection and it comes with ink and they had pink, green, and blue. And Vagabond has showed that she bought these and I was like, what? The Dollar Tree has calligraphy pens, if you want to call them, but they're called dip pens. And they have three, I have to find them. Well, I went everywhere in my area and in my area I have one, two, I didn't go to that one. But I went to the other one, three. So I have three in my area that's like really, well, four. Like I'm saying, it's four. But it's just the one I don't always go that way. But I can. It's no further than any of the other ones. Except the one that's five minutes from my house. So, pink, green, and blue. And I said I have to have them. I have to have them because you know if you go online and you get these three, you're going to pay probably $14 or more. And there's still one online that I have to get from Wish if it's still there. And I mean, I've gone to, there's this Hannah called Hannah um, Antique Store. It's across from the Veterans Clinic. And when I go to my clinic the appointments, I'll usually go there and just check it out. And they have the um, some of the old style um ink holders but I haven't gotten one because they're overpriced because some of them if you look at Wayfair right Wayfair they got what you need that place they have some and you can buy them that's half the price and I'm like these people don't realize I'm glad I realized that they have them there and I can go get them there instead and I just haven't gotten them because I, I feel I can go and get them anytime but I shouldn't think like that because that doesn't mean they're gonna always have them stocked but these are getting ready to come out of the packaging as you can see, oh, I didn't tell you anything about them besides that they're a dollar. Now, they're pink, green, and blue. Well, here they say that they are smooth writing, smooth writing, bright color, and easy to clean. And that's true. They are easy to clean. And let me shake up my ink just a little. I love this. I don't have a napkin or anything over here to wipe anything up. So let's hope we don't have any spills or I'm going to scream as I run to go get something to wipe it up. But this is why we dip. See that? A little flourish at the bottom. 22. That's why we dip. Beautiful. So not only did you get a haul video, 
You got a demo. Look at there. Look at there. I'm going to clean her off in a little bit. I don't want to put her back in the casing because I don't want to get that pink ink on it. So I, I'm going to put her right there. If you saw my little stand there, you'd think, wow, that's cute. And it is. But I'm going to open these right away. I don't know where I'm going to put my, I mean, probably beside the bed because I just like that stuff. So while I was at the register, because let me say, what did I get? While I was there, I got this Kool-Aid gum. I didn't know Kool-Aid sold a gum. And I saw this Heart of a Mother from Paula J. Fox, The Beauty of a Mother's Love. And this is padded and it feels so good. I can't say if it's leather or not, but it's padded. And it's this pretty turquoise and I like this color and it looks so pretty on me, this color. Uh, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really look at the book because I was like, oh, I could get this for my mom and my mother-in-law for Mother's Day. But I was like, they're going to get so tired of me buying them books because when I see those mother-type books, I just like fall in love. But my mom would love this because it really does have like different things about gratitude and all of that. And it has flowers. Well, my mother-in-law also, because she loves flowers also. But I got this one and then I really... I saw this book and it said rooted in established in love Ephesians 3:17 and so I don't know what it's about. Darn it! I wish I had looked because y'all I just bought an empty book. <laughs> I love it. I buy journals all the time, so there is nothing wrong with that. But I love love, and so I'm gonna be writing there with my calligraphy pen. But I had to laugh because I didn't look in there. I was just like, whatever it's about, I'm gonna be good with reading it. So I guess I'm gonna be enjoying what I'm writing about love. <laughs> So, yeah, so I bought those two and this gum. And I was at the register and I saw these and I was like, okay, leopard print. You know, old ladies like me love leopard print and zebras and all kinds of animals that we just don't want to see outside of the jungle. Except at the, at the fashion, you know, at the store. So, I saw these and I said, it's cute. What is it? Is it a heart? What's going on here? What's going on? So it is a heart, a stylized heart. And this matching pen to come with it. Two packs of novelty pens. Let's see how they write. I mean, I'm a sucker for a pen. And you see, did y'all notice I touched that and that's dried just that fast? So that's blue ink. And it's fine. I would carry it in my first problem. With all the other 20 million pens. One day I was like, my purse is so heavy. What all I got in here? Y'all I had looked like about 20 pens. And I was like, really cat ridiculousness. Ridiculousness. But I'm probably going to add those two. And I'm probably going to take out those other 20. So then, because I'm greedy and I was like, well, maybe Vagabond has some of those other steel type pens. So I said, let me go and see if I can find those kinds. So I went to the store, another store, plus I needed some pie crust and I was trying to see if Dollar Tree sold pie crust. So I went in there, I saw this first, and I said these are really nice because they had that um, calendar, that you know how they had those dollar calendars, and they had one there that had um, hummingbirds, hummingbirds. So. I saw that and I was like, well, I didn't buy that, even though it's beautiful and I still made. And I don't do a lot of things with a lot of birds, but I got a few dyes with some birds and stuff on them. So I was like, well, let me just try. Now I'm just putting this in a picture shot just to hold up the screen because it looks good. And so it says, beautiful. Enjoy your day. Have a nice day. And so I've seen people do some pictures with birds, you know, on different craft stores shows, so I don't know if I will or won't. Then I saw this and I said, well, if I see it again, I'm going to get it because I might need a craft scraper. So now I got the heat, you know, I got to have a heat because it's cold here. For Alabama, it's cold, <laughs> but for some other places, it's probably good weather. So anyway, I got this craft scraper. It's a dollar, so it won't be a big waste. And then I saw these pens here. And like I said, I'm an old lady, so I saw Tiger, 
um, giraffe, zebra, <laughs> and um, leopard. And so I got it. Well, some people might say that's not a leopard. What's that other cat? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. The other one that runs fast. The leopard. Well, anyway. I was at the front and I saw these and it's pink and, and black and I got them. My daughter saw this print when she was a young girl and she wanted her nails done. They were too little to do it at that time. I wanted she still wanted so we can do her nails. I tried to do them, but I couldn't get that little shape on those little nails. She was like a little girl in elementary school. And it was in one of those little girl books, those um, girl world or something like that. Now this, this is sand. It's sand. Yes, I bought sand. But let me tell you why. Because I'm going to do a video on bridal ideas. And what I'm going to use the sand for is to show how um, I, they didn't have any glasses there. And I wanted to get something that represents the Dollar Tree so that my store has some. And different stores have different things. And none of the stores I went to today had them. And my store doesn't always have them because people are going and getting them and making candles. But what you do is... My daughter just asked, well, why did you get green and white? What does that represent? Well, St. Patrick's Day. That's all it did for me. I started to get red and green. That would have been Christmas. Or I could have gotten red and white. But I was like, my birthday is coming up on St. Patrick's Day, so I'm going to get that. But what it is is, you know how back in the day when we got married, people, some of us, they had the candle where the mother-in-law comes in. She lights one candle, her and the, the guy who is with her to escort her in. And then when the, the bride's mom comes in, she lights the candle with her escort and then when the people get married and they do the unity ceremony then they put their candles together and light the unity candle well something new that if you all don't know some of you know but some of the young people are doing and one of my nieces did and i saw it at her wedding but my nephew said she she saw a friend of his wedding and she copied everything and then both her parents are, are deceased so what they did was they just had they had she had red and her wedding was red and black and of course she wore a red dress I mean a white dress though but she had red and black and I'm just picking green and white and what she did she picked her color he picked his color and they had them in, in glasses and then they poured it into a unity glass and blended the colors <laughs> and you have to tell your spouse because she was trying to tell them the time you know pack pour the same amount that she's pouring but he wasn't getting it you know so but they got it done and it's the blend of the two. And so you can pick whichever colors. I've been trying to go to different stores and they didn't have it. And I finally found one that has it. So I was like, yay, 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 yay. We got it done. We're going to get it. Now, I did see at Michael's that they actually have the wax pellets. And you can do that. But it's, it, you may or may not want to take a time at a wedding. You can have it set up with your wick in the middle. And you and your spouse just go and pour it in it. If you have time, they have them for $7.99, and you can do that, and you'll have a candle that you can burn at the end. But it's, it's it, this will work. You can do this, or you can do that, or you can just keep doing the candles. It's all a beautiful thing. And I am going to do a video on it, and I'll probably also do a video where, well, I have some jars where I, that I can use because a lot of people like to use jars mason jars and just depend on your thing so i got some that i'm gonna etch and i'll probably etch them and i can very well use them but if i find the ones at hobby lobby i sure will um put them to use too but i'm gonna do a demo of this because i want to do a table setting like my table here this will be a great example of a table setting for a wedding and i'm gonna do that and presented on YouTube so everybody can see just uh, um, some great ideas that aren't the most expensive I'm not going to say cheap that just aren't the most expensive and you can have a beautiful wedding for the same price that you would have paid for something else it's just it's a different idea it's something new that some people are doing and it's an option talk to you all later have a good day look out for that video okay and I hope you enjoyed this one and it'll give you a chance to go and see some beautiful things you might want to get this for your mother's cook. I know it's early, but Mother's Day is coming. So why not get ready so you'll be ready? 
And with that, I'll say adios. Bye.